Robotics and automation are two of the most exciting areas of technological advancement with the potential to revolutionize the way we work, live, and interact with the world. Robotics refers to the study of robots, their design, construction, and operation, while automation involves the use of technology to streamline and optimize work processes, eliminating the need for human intervention. In this video, we will provide you with an overview of the history of robotics and automation, their current applications in various industries, and their potential to shape the future of work and society. So make sure you subscribe to our channel, AI Tech Academy, to keep getting our AI and tech related videos, and do like the video if you like the content. So without any further delay, let's start with the introduction to robotics and automation. In simple words, robotics refers to the study of robots, their design, construction, and operation. Robots are machines that are designed to perform a variety of tasks and can be controlled by human operators or computer programs. Robots come in all shapes and sizes, from humanoid robots that can walk and interact with people to industrial robots that are designed for specific manufacturing or assembly tasks. Automation, on the other hand, involves the use of technology to streamline and optimize work processes eliminating the need for human intervention. Automation can be used in a variety of industries, from manufacturing to healthcare, to reduce costs, increase efficiency, and improve productivity. The field of robotics and automation has seen tremendous growth in recent years, driven by advancements in artificial intelligence, machine learning, and other technologies. Today, robots and automated systems are used in a wide variety of applications, from manufacturing and logistics to healthcare and education. Now that you're clear about the introduction, let's move towards the history of robotics and automation. The history of robotics and automation dates back several centuries, with early examples of automated machines found in ancient Greek and Roman texts. However, it wasn't until the Industrial Revolution of the 18th and 19th centuries that automation began to take off in a significant way. The development of steam engines and other mechanical devices allowed for the creation of machines that could perform tasks more quickly and efficiently than ever before. The first recorded use of the word robot dates back to a Czech play called Rossum's Universal Robots, which was written in 1920. The play, which was a commentary on the dehumanizing effects of industrialization, featured humanoid robots that were designed to perform manual labor. In the years that followed, robotics and automation continued to evolve, with advancements in electronics, computing, and artificial intelligence paving the way for more sophisticated machines. In the 1950s, the first industrial robots were developed, and by the 1980s, robots had become a common sight in factories and other industrial settings. And today, as you know, robotics and automation are used in a wide range of applications, from manufacturing and logistics to healthcare and education. Furthermore, let's delve into types of robots, applications of robotics, and automation. There are many different types of robots, each designed for specific applications. Industrial robots, for example, are used in manufacturing and other industrial settings to perform tasks such as welding, painting, and assembly. Service robots, on the other hand, are designed to interact with people and perform tasks such as cleaning, food preparation, and healthcare assistance. Mobile robots are used in a variety of settings, from military operations to space exploration. The application of robotics and automation are numerous and varied. In manufacturing, robots are used to increase efficiency, reduce costs, and improve quality. In logistics, automated systems are used to move goods and materials quickly and efficiently. In healthcare, robots and other automated systems are used to assist with surgery, deliver medication, and perform other tasks. In the service industry, robots are used for tasks such as cleaning, cooking, and customer service. Robotics and automation can also play a crucial role in agriculture, where automated systems are used for tasks such as planting, harvesting, and sorting crops. Additionally, now we can expect to see robots and automated systems playing an even greater role in our lives, performing tasks that are currently done by humans and taking on new and more complex challenges. After talking about types and applications, next are the benefits and challenges of robotics and automation. The use of robotics and automation has numerous benefits, including increased efficiency, improved productivity, and reduced costs. In manufacturing, robots can work around the clock without the need for breaks or rests, resulting in increased production and reduced labor costs. Automated systems in logistics can move goods and materials quickly and efficiently, reducing the time and cost involved in transporting products. In healthcare, robots and automated systems can assist with surgery, deliver medication, and perform other tasks with precision and accuracy. 
service robots can assist with tasks such as cleaning, cooking and customer service, improving efficiency and reducing the need for human labour. However, the use of robotics and automation also presents challenges. One of the most significant challenges is the displacement of human workers. As robots and automated systems become more advanced, they are capable of performing tasks that were once done by humans, leading to job losses and displacement in some industries. This can have a negative impact on communities and the economy as a whole. Another challenge is the cost of implementing robotics and automation. While the use of robots and automated systems can result in long-term cost savings, the initial investment can be significant, especially for small and medium-sized businesses. Additionally, the complexity of implementing these systems can be a challenge, requiring specialized skills and knowledge. Cybersecurity is also a major concern with the increasing use of robotics and automation. As these systems become more connected to the internet and other networks, they are vulnerable to cyber attacks, which can have devastating consequences. Finally, there are ethical concerns surrounding the use of robots and automated systems. For example, the use of robots in military operations raises questions about the morality of using machines to kill human beings. There are also concerns about the potential for robots to replace human interaction and the emotional bonds that come with it. Despite these challenges, the benefits of robotics and automation cannot be ignored. As technology continues to advance, we will likely see even more advanced and sophisticated robots and automated systems. The key to unlocking the full potential of robotics and automation is to ensure that the benefits are maximized while the challenges are addressed responsibly and ethically. And in the end, how can we not talk about the future of robotics and automation? The manufacturing industry is moving in the direction of developing more complicated robots that have higher speed and accuracy. The shipping and receiving of goods are becoming more mechanized in the logistics industry, which is growing in the opposite direction. It is anticipated that the employment of robots and other forms of automated technology to assist in medical processes such as surgical operations, patient monitoring and dispensing of medication would become increasingly widespread. Additionally, new industries including agriculture, education and entertainment are anticipated to adopt the use of automated systems and robots shortly. These computer programs are rapidly approaching the stage where they can perform tasks that were once thought of as being exclusively human. On the other hand, as we move into this new era of automation, we need to consider how it will impact human laborers and make certain that everyone will be able to benefit from it. So, that's the end of the video. Now, if you have any questions related to anything we've explained, then do mention that below in the comment box. Now, if you found the content helpful, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel, AI Tech Academy, for weekly content just like this. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Until then, goodbye.